in this video, we're going to go through how to create three simple invitations. So this could be for like a birthday or something like that. I have already created my three documents for these invitations. If you are wondering how to set up your document so that it has this area for a bleed, I will leave a link in the description below. And also you should see something appearing up at the very top, which will link to a video on how to create greeting cards in Affinity Designer. Um, you'll set it up pretty close to the exact same way. So my documents are five inches by seven inches and it has the 0.125 bleed on all three sides. This is not necessary for some places if you're getting it printed online. Make sure to read what kind of bleed they want on it before setting up your document. So to get started on this one, I am going to use my text tool. Want a fairly large font and I'm going to put let's party. And I want to change the font to something a little more fun and maybe something cursive. Once you have your text in place, I want to go ahead and select the palette that I want to use. So I'm just going to select five different colors. I want to stay in like, um, I think navy and pink are the colors I'm going to go for. Okay, so I changed my text to that navy color, and now I just want to go in and add some polka dots around this very top and then around the bottom. So one color at a time, I have the navy selected, and I'm going to use the ellipse tool, and I'm just going to go ahead and put some dots in here. Make sure you put some over the bleed. And just because the text is the navy already, I don't want to put in too much of the navy. And my color palette is kind of getting in the way right now, so I'm just gonna move that up. And then switch to a different color. I'm gonna go for that darker pink. Switch again, I'm going to do the cream color. And then the lighter pink. And I'm actually going to go in, maybe overlap some of these. Okay, so I'm done adding in all of the dots. And I'm going to move my color palette up just so it's not in the way of my text. And the next thing I want and that same exact font, do, like if it's for a birthday party, I'm going to add in how old the person is turning. So now that I have the two main text pieces in the invitation, I want to go in and add the other information like time and location and a phone number to send the regrets to. So I am using a sans serif font so it looks nice and clean and it isn't taking away from the two main fonts that are cursive so they will work well together and it'll balance everything out. So I want to center all of the text so I'm going to select it all and then hit arrange horizontally and click center. 
I want to give this a little bit more space, so I'm just going to nudge it down. Maybe a little bit more. And I'm going to delete that color palette. And I'm going to bring actually all of the text up. And there is the first very simple invitation. So moving on to the second one, I'm going to grab the rectangle tool and I'm going to make a rectangle that is larger than the artboard. Don't worry about the colors just yet. Grab your move tool or hit V on your keyboard. Holding Option or Alt, click and drag down. I hold Shift so that it stays in place. And you will see that it has duplicated your last object. Now all you have to do is hit Command J. See that it is duplicating that stripe for you. So you can choose to either leave it at a horizontal stripe or you can go through and grab all of these rectangles and I'm just going to rotate them and then I'm going to enlarge just so that my entire artboard is covered by the stripes and you can choose to leave your stripes all the same color. I want to go in and do every other stripe and I'm going to lighten those Actually, no, I think I'm going to darken them slightly. Okay, so once again, select all of your rectangles by using your layers panel. And then I'm going to hit Command and G to group them. With the rectangle tool again, just want to go in and add a rectangle. This is the area that you're going to put in all of your information. Hit what kind of looks like a bar graph and then align it center horizontally and then align center vertically. So you can choose to go in and round these corners if you would like. You can also add a stroke which I think I am going to and then you can go in and click if you would like to increase the size. Okay, so I am happy with this, although I think I'm going to change that color in the center to white. And actually, because I changed that to white, I want to change that stroke to a little bit darker so it's not fighting against it so much. I am going to copy all of the text from that original card just to make it easier. Hit Command C to copy or go to Edit Copy. And then Command V to paste. You can also go to Edit and Paste. So this is where you could do something fun and add in some clip art. You could do like a cake or even a cupcake, balloons something fun since this is a girly-ish invitation. You could do flowers. Um, where I live in the south, women absolutely love monograms. So I'm just going to do a monogram at the bottom because people will go crazy for that here. So I'm going to grab the text tool. So the way monograms work it's the, the first letter of the first name and then the first letter of the last name and then the first letter of the middle name. And I'm going to put a rectangle behind this. So this is the second invitation. Like I said, you could do any kind of graphic down here, balloons, flowers, 
cakes, whatever fits the party the best. Like I said, I just did monograms because I live in the South and everybody loves monograms. So I thought, why not do something with that? This last invitation, we're going to do more of a graphic style as opposed to like the more traditional with the stripes and florals and dots. So this one would be really great if somebody likes ice cream. So grab your rectangle tool. And I like this cream color for that. And then I'm going to grab the ellipse tool. And I want this to be the same width as the bottom part of this. I'm going to zoom in because it's not meeting up exactly like I would like it to. Okay. Now I want to join these together. So in the top toolbar, click this very first option and that is to add it together. So now it is one piece. That's a little big, so change that shape a little. And align it horizontally. And I want this to be like a chocolate covered one. So grab the ellipse tool with the brown selected and just layer this on top of the ice cream bar. Now, currently it is placed over the top of that cream color. If you click on it and then pull down, it is going to kind of create like a clipping mask. And that's exactly what you want. So now I'm just going to continue with the ellipse tool and add on some sections so it looks like it's dripping. And you can see that these have not nested underneath that original one, so just bring them down again. And I am pretty happy with that. So actually I'm going to click on this arrow next to the ice cream bar, select all of those brown pieces, and then join them all together. You will notice that the background is kind of hard to see, so I'm going to make a background in a different color. And I like that blue, I think it pops really well off of that. And now I want to use some ellipse tools to make it look like somebody has taken a bite out of this. One of the last things I want to do, I'm just gonna grab the pen tool to create kind of the stick. And I want this to be like a light brown. So I'm just gonna grab that brown that we used for the chocolate and then do a light version of that. And you can go in and you can add some texture to this with using some of the brushes or even just like the pencil tool. You could go in with like a slightly darker color and just add in what looks like wood grain going to group those and I'm actually going to decrease the opacity because I don't really care for them that much but I do like that it adds a little extra dimension to it and I'm going to grab all of this yet again with command C to copy command V to paste So I actually want to change this font. I don't think it works very well with this design. So with that changed, I'm going to go through 
and edit the other text as well. You can add in some drops like the ice cream is melting. So you can use the tear tool. So there you have it. Three different styles of invitations that you can make in Affinity Designer. I hope you enjoyed the class. And as always, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Thanks guys. Mm -hmm.